bridges. In this section, we're going to learn all about the different types of bridges before you choose one to build on your own. Bridges. A bridge provides a pathway over an obstacle. The obstacle might be a body of water, a roadway, or a valley. The bridge carries a load, for example, a footpath, a road, train tracks, power lines, pipelines, or even city water supply. Other types of bridges include aqueducts, which carry water, causeways, a road over a shallow lake, and overpasses, which are highway bridges. Types of bridges. The first type we're going to talk about is a beam bridge. The beam bridge is the simplest type of bridge. It's ideal for short spans or places where columns won't go get in the way. Beam bridges are still commonly used for railroad and highway overpasses. The arc bridge. The ancient Romans built arc bridges out of stone and brick. Now such bridges are made using steel and concrete. Arch bridges need temporary structures in place until the arc is completed. A truss bridge. Patent and truss railroad bridge designs were quick and inexpensive to build. They were often made from wood and later from iron. American settlers need, need lots of bridges to travel west after the 1850s. A suspension bridge. The suspension bridge is one of the most beautiful designs, yet this type of bridge is one of the most costly to build so it is only used to cross long spans. A truss roadway. The roadway for a truss bridge can either be placed on the bottom, through the middle, or on top of the trusses. This makes a truss design practical for many different situations. Watch the video about modern day bridges at the end of this PowerPoint. The Clark Bridge. When the original Clark Bridge was built, the people of Alton, Illinois were pleased. However, in the early 1900s, the bridge no longer had the capacity for cars crossing it. The Clark Bridge was rebuilt and reopened in 1994 in order to handle all the traffic and allow the city to grow. Roman Bridges In the first century BC, Romans built an aqueduct at Pointe de Garde in France. It still spans 855 feet today. The Roman army also built semicircular arc bridges whenever it defeated people. One at Montreal, near Barcelona, Spain, was built in 219 BC and is still standing. Roman Aqueduct. The name of the ancient engineer who built the first arc bridge is not known, but he was probably Chinese or Babylonian. The best example of a first century BC Roman aqueduct is the Pointe de Garde in France. It measures 260.6 meters, or 855 feet, in length. There are three tiers of arches rising 47.2 meters, or 155 feet, above the Gard River. The Tweed Arch Bridge. The British engineer John Rennie built the Tweed Arch Bridge in Kelso, Scotland in 1803. The first steel arc bridge. The first steel arc bridge was designed by the American engineer James Buchanan Eads and was opened in 1874. It has three 500 foot arches spanning the Mississippi River at St. Louis, Missouri. The Brooklyn Bridge. Opened in 1883 in New York City, the Brooklyn Bridge has a central span that stretches 486.2 meters, or 1,595 feet. The London Tower Bridge. 
The earliest type of drawbridge was called a bascule. It was a hinged bridge made of timber and built over castle moats. This bridge was raised, during, raised using chains and counterweights. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge Disaster. Please click on the link in the comment section to watch the YouTube clip about the Katoma Narrows Bridge Disaster. Steps to building a bridge. Building a bridge, a big bridge, takes years of hard labor and skillful workers in many construction trades. Steel workers weld and bolt together the tower sections and pull miles of wire cables. Masonry workers pour tons of concrete and hold the bridge to its foundations. It is very dangerous work. Eleven men were killed building the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Here are ten of the longest suspension bridges there throughout the world. Uh, you can see number one is in Japan. You can see that it spans 6,532 6, feet across. You can see that the first, the largest one that's actually in the United States is in New York, which is the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, built in 1964, that spans approximately 4,260 feet across. The Akashi Kaio Bridge. Opened in 1998, the Akashi Kaiko Bridge in Japan holds the record as the longest suspension bridge in the world. The bridge links the city of Kobe and Awaja Island. The center span is 1,990 meters. Arc Bridge. One of the longest fixed steel rib arc bridges in the world crosses the Niagara River between Queenston, Ontario and Lewiston, New York. It opened in 1965 and its span is 304.8 meters. The Truss Bridge. The Astora Bridge, completed in 1966, spans the Columbia River in Oregon. It is the largest continuous truss bridge in North America with a 375.5 meter or 1,232 feet span. Overall longest in the U.S. The, the Lake Ponchart Train Causeways, two parallel roadways, are the longest bridges in the U.S., measuring 38.6 kilometers, nearly 24 miles. The bridges connect New Orleans and Covington, Louisiana. The longest suspension bridge in the U.S. The highest suspension bridge, I'm sorry, the highest suspension bridge in the U.S. The highest suspension suspension bridge in the U.S. crosses the Royal Gorge of the Arkansas River in Colorado. It rises 321 meters or 1,053 feet above the water. 